Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of This Agrarian Life with me, Eric Kimball. Today, I'm broadcasting from the packing room of my mail order business known as Planet Whizbang. And uh, I'm here because it's too hot outside. Usually I'm in here because it's raining, but today it's just too hot. And that's good, though. The plants, the garden, needs hot, needs sunshine and heat. So I'm uh, glad to be in here during the heat of the day. And uh, I'm glad that I have, maybe you can hear droning off over to the side a little bit, the air conditioner. So this is a refuge. And today I want to tell you about something that happened to me last month. I got an email from Stars Entertainment in uh, Beverly Hills, California. Uh, May 8th, 2017. It's actually from Stars Evil Productions LLC from the legal department. And uh, they want to, they contacted me because they want to use this book in a television production that they're doing. And the name of this television production is Ash versus Evil Dead. Maybe you've heard of it. I have not heard of it prior to getting this email and uh, because I don't watch television. I haven't watched television for years. And uh, so I did what we all do these days when we wanna learn something, find out information about something. I went to the internet, I typed in Ash versus Evil Dead. I got this little information thing here and it says, uh, and I may, be, I may very well be telling you something that you're fully aware of already. Maybe that I'm like the last one to know about Ash versus the Evil Dead, this very popular television program, but this is what it says. Ash is back. Bruce Campbell reprises his Evil D Dead film role as heroic chainsaw-handed monster fighter Ash Williams now an aging Lothario who has successfully avoided responsibility, maturity, and heinous villains for the past 30 years. Evident, evidently this guy is a zombie killer, is where I, I read somewhere else. He kills zombies, and this is a comedy, I should add, all right? Or it's portrayed as a comedy. Now, <clears throat> I have to be honest with you, I did not know what a Lothario was. And uh, I guess I should. So I looked it up. And this, in case, like myself, you did not know what a Lothario was or is, this is it. A man who behaves selfishly and irresponsibly in his sexual relationships with women. So this guy is basically the exact total opposite of uh, the kind of person that I like to be. He, he's the kind of guy that I really don't want anything to do with. Uh, I don't want to hang with a guy like this, you know? And I've avoided that most of my life, you know, if I have a choice. And, um, and remarkably to me, this television program with this character is got a has a 99% rating at Rotten Tomatoes which means everybody loves this show this car this this guy and he kills zombies this is a dystopian comedy evidently and <clears throat> not only am i not into irresponsible men and watching them on television i'm not into this zombie genre the hopelessness and the bloodlust of uh, zombie killing and the and zombie movies. It does not appeal to me. So this is this is crazy. And um, I respond. This was a you know they send me not only this uh, explanation but uh, this set dressing prop agreement to sign. And. Um, I sent an email back to this these people and I said, you know, thank you for contacting me. Uh, I uh, do not want my book 
associated in any way with this television series. Best wishes, Eric Kimball. And um, so I would like to say that uh, I find this so disturbing. We're going into opinion and rant here. Disturbing, very disturbing that 99% of the people who rate this television show on Rotten Tomatoes, maybe 99% of America, watch this show and love it and think it's great. And that's a bad sign, okay? Hollywood, Beverly Hills, it's close to Hollywood, right? About the same place, I would say. It's California. I mean, it's, it's where they create cultural effluent and blast it out all over this country, okay? It's, uh, it, you can't help but get it on you, all right? But incredibly, there are people who will take their brain and plug it into this effluent and suck it in and rate it 99% on Rotten Tomatoes. If you're from Hollywood and you have something for me, if you have an idea, if you want to give me money, if you want my permission for anything, the answer is no. No. Please don't ever ask me anything like this again. I'm serious. No amount of money. No. I'm just not that kind of guy. Thanks for listening to my rant.